Well, this is an embarrassing way to start off a video. Some say life imitates art. Others say art imitates life. But who fucking cares? You click this video to learn how to make dank ass visual aesthetics. And I'm gonna teach you how I make this dank ass visual aesthetic. It's the Fibonacci sequence, bitches. MIDI guitar solo. What's the Fibonacci sequence you may be asking me? Well, the Fibonacci sequence is a sequence of numbers that follows this. 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and basically you start with the base number, and then you add it times itself. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then you add the next number by the previous number, so it's 2 plus 1 is 3. Then you continue this pattern forever. 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, and so on and so forth. Why is this number sequence so important, you may be asking me? Because it is found everywhere in nature. It's found in the sky, in the clouds, in your hands. The golden spiral is found in things as small as seashells and as huge as spiral galaxies. It's in fucking everything. The Fibonacci sequence has this weird universal pattern that life seems to follow. So therefore, if nature is considered the ultimate beauty, art must replicate the Fibonacci sequence for it to be artificially beautiful. It's like, have you ever just looked up at the sky? at like sunset and thought it was so beautiful that you took a picture of it and uploaded it on Instagram and wrote it's a painting so all your friends and family could know how artistic you are. Nature seems to do that to people but I wouldn't know because I don't go outside. In the video description I will link a golden ratio transparent grid that you can place over any video editing or picture software. Aligning any images with this golden grid will make any image follow the golden ratio. Greek philosopher Plato defined beauty as proportion, harmony, and unity. Well, Aristotle found the universal elements of beauty to be order, symmetry, and definiteness. My personal aesthetic is made up of three parts. One, harmony. Two, balance. And three, truth. So just like my musical genre cooking video, when you add all three components together, you get one aesthetic. So now using this visual text um, template, I'm gonna make my own aesthetic that is both harmonious, balanced and truthful to me. Now I'm gonna start off with the Roman statue because I think that's the most important part. However, I mean that is the figure of self. That is the centerpiece of the aesthetic. So I'm just gonna look up my name and I'm gonna download something that represents me. So here's this 8-bit avatar that I made in 2010. I'm gonna use this as the Roman statue or the centerpiece of the aesthetic. The next part is poorly translated Japanese. I don't do that because I believe that the exoticism of foreign cultures that you're not necessarily a part of is fucked up and stupid. Next it says frowny face. However, I feel that means the theme and mood of an aesthetic. The frowny face is most likely done because of the sad boys aesthetic, but I don't fuck with that aesthetic because fuck the sad boys. They're not even fucking sad. They're all playing you. They're from fucking Sweden, so I don't know why they're fucking sad. Next it says Fiji bottle. I think that means a uh, water or something to drink, something to quench the thirst. However, I don't like Fiji water because I can't afford that shit and it's stupid tasting. I tasted it once and I was like, it's just like fucking smart water, but in a another bottle. But what I love is Dr. Pepper because that shit is amazing. Hey, you're drinking Dr. Pepper right now. That's exactly why, right. Why that, you... that stuff is good. It's got sugar in it. And three, two doctors have told me that if I drink it, I will die, but they died first. What you do is go to images, then you go to search tools, then you go to color, and then you go to transparent, and you'll get a transparent of a Dr. Pepper. Uh, I like this one. This one's cool. I can fuck with this Dr. Pepper. Next it says palm tree. However, I don't believe that it. you actually have to use a palm tree, you just have to use something from nature. And what I love from nature is marijuana. Marijuana, yeah. Look at all these leaves. I like this leaf because it looks fat, and I like it fat. I'm talking about no. Next, we need symmetry, and with symmetry, I believe it means balance. So I need something that balances me out. And you know what balances me out? A Carl's Jr. hamburger from Carl's Jr. Because as we all know, I am American, and I eat all my feelings away. Next, the bottom text says Windows 95 logo, but what I think it means is technology or some form of technological thing that relates to you. So what I relate to the most is FL Studio. I spelled that wrong. So now I can just pick one of these FL Studio logos. I don't know what's up with FL Studios and ponies, but there sure are a lot of ponies. So what I have here is an instance of Sony Vegas, and I have all the images that um, are gonna make up my aesthetic. So here I have the main frame that I told you about, uh, the golden ratio square, and here is my um, canvas. However, it's a little bit weird because it's set for video, so what I do is edit the width and height. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the height 666 pixels and the width 666 pixels to be super edgy hardcore. 
and now the frame looks like this. You can use any video editor or picture editor for visual aesthetics, but I use Sony Vegas, so in order to make the, the frame fit the the video, what I do is I edit the pan and I go to maintain aspect ratio and I turn it off, so I click no, so what it does is it fills up the whole space. So now my square ratio will follow the aesthetic uh, golden ratio. First I'm gonna have to add a background, so what I chose for my background is uh, instead of some Windows 98 thing, I'm gonna choose this Chrono Trigger Kingdom of Zeal thing because that was made in the 90s and it's something that I relate to. There's a hierarchy with the frame, so if I add a new video track and let's say this is up here and I put uh, the centerpiece, which is my head, like down here, it's not gonna show up unless I drag this to the bottom and then it shows up. So I'm gonna make this the centerpiece. So make sure that this is highlighted, lock to aspect ratio and size about center. And what this does is it allows you to edit the frame easier. So there, now that's uh, one golden ratio apart, kinda. Next, I'm going to add the FL Studio logo. So this one is a little bit trickier. I'm going to show you some cool stuff. So what you do is you go to square so that it fits within the square. And then you drag it out until it is within the golden ratio. And then you click this to move throughout the Y or X axis. I'm going to move it so it only goes up the Y axis. And I'm going to frame it just right. See, it kind of frames within there. Now, this has a huge wide white like box so to get rid of that I choose plug and chain and I choose chroma key which is like my favorite thing of all time so you click chroma key press ok and it gives you this color so this is how blue screen and stuff works so instead of you know using blue or green I'm gonna choose white and what that does is it gets rid of the white box next I'm gonna insert another video track and add the cheeseburgers because cheeseburgers is aesthetic to me uh, as you can see the burger covers over the FL studio so what I'll do is I'll make sure that the FL studio is above the burger so you can see the FL studio now what I'm gonna want to do is add symmetry to this so in Sony Vegas it's really easy you just add plug-in and you add mirror to it and then what I do is I go to the default uh, and I choose reflect left and it'll put two cheeseburgers next to each other perfect next I'm gonna add another video track and this time I'm gonna add the marijuana leaf because marijuana is important to my aesthetic so put it in a square so I'm gonna do the same thing with um, this particular thing add Sony mirror Press OK and then reflect since it's on the left, reflect left. So now we have the aesthetic over there. Now we just need the drink because you know how much I love Dr. Pepper. I actually wrote a song about Dr. Pepper. So what I do is put it in square aspect ratio and then zoom out all the way. And then there we go. I have one aesthetic. So I get rid of the frame and this is how it looks all together. Make it huge so you guys can see. And this is my aesthetic. This is who I am as an individual. So I hope you liked this video tutorial on how I make my aesthetics. As you can see, there's three main objects. That's the harmony. So that's like a chord. Think of the three objects as like a chord. Like what type of chord do you want to make? And the background is, uh, it represents my um, longing for forgotten youth that I am still clinging on to, like most millennials. And it says FL Studio because that is what I use to make the dank beats. So yeah, I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. I was literally thinking about putting this design on a t-shirt and selling it. However, I don't want to get sued by Dr. Pepper, Carl's Jr., and Chrono Trigger all at the same time because that would ruin my life if I did that. So what I'm going to do is a bit experimental and I really hope you go along with this. Now, as an ironic joke, I wrote ass, dead, and dicks on um, MS Paint and I put it on a black t-shirt in black print because it's kind of embarrassing to wear a shirt that says ass dead dicks. However, I want to know if anyone would be interested in buying this shirt. It's only $16 and I get like, I think, like 10% profit off every shirt I sell. And um, there, I only need three shirts to be bought, so to be shipped out. And I'm using Teespring right now because that seems to be like the most reliable, easiest sort of um, ordering shirts. This will finally give me a chance to make actual aesthetics and print on all around shirts and then ship them to you guys. It also gives me um, more incentive to have actual physical goods that I can make like artistically. Like I was even thinking about making custom white t-shirts where I draw on it with permanent marker, sign it and stuff and then um, make sure it like stays on the shirt forever and sell those out as like artistic, you know, fashion. So if you guys are interested interested in purchasing these um, shirts, uh, go ahead and the link's in the description. I just want to thank you for watching my videos and if you buy my music and if you buy my art and everything, like 
although I make fun of capitalism and consumerism via vaporwave parodies, um, to be an artist in today's world is to struggle for a monetary gain. Without your support and little things like this, even like dumb stuff like this, like even if you have the money or if you just want to like support me somehow, like little things like this will help. And I want to thank you guys for watching my stuff.